Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So, not too long ago, I did a video about your relationship moving too fast and the signs that go along with it. Today, we're going to talk about how to actually slow your relationship down, especially when you know that this is an actual thing that you do, meaning the relationship moves too fast. We're going to talk about how to slow it down right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I'm your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they want, need, and desire. So if you need help with your relationship, definitely look down in the comment section below and send me an email at my Marshawn at MarshawnOlanio.com email address. I will absolutely be able to help you out. And you can set up your first call, which is a free call to see if we're going to work together okay um, go ahead and check me out and send me that email if you're interested in being coached one-on-one -on -one. all right so now today's topic is how do you slow down your relationship if it is moving too fast the very first thing that you need to do which is a big thing is to just sit down quiet space maybe playing some music just somewhere where you can actually think and evaluate your relationship Yes, evaluating your relationship means how much time are you guys spending together? How much time are you now spending with your friends? How much time are you spending with your family? How much time are you uh, working on your hobbies? How much time are you working on your goals? Do you and said potential partner um, or boyfriend, girlfriend, wherever stage you're at, have you and your potential partner actually sat down and talked about what your end goals are? Meaning, are you guys on the same page as far as girlfriend, boyfriend, long-term relationship, marriage, or just, you know, what, what, where are you guys at? Is it the same end game? Another thing to really think about when you are evaluating the relationship is what is making you think that you are moving too fast. That is going to be very, very um, important for you to make the distinction to say, you know what, it, I really am moving too fast. Or is it because you heard other people saying that you're moving too fast? Or like, what is it that's making you think that you're moving too fast? Another thing, um, which is the second thing that you need to do is to have the conversation. Yes, have the conversation with your potential boyfriend, girlfriend, because maybe you're the only person that thinks the relationship is moving too fast. And after you have evaluated everything, which is the very first thing that you should be doing, um, right before you have the conversation with the girl or guy, you want to remember that maybe, again, maybe it's only you who's thinking that you're moving too fast. Maybe the, the, the other party, they potentially could be on the same page. You might even recognize to say, um, you know what, he or she is starting to pull away a little bit. And so maybe we need to actually have an adult conversation to see what's happening. Are we both on the same page? Again, um, especially if you just don't know, these are the tough conversations that you need to sit down and have. Maybe you guys are just going along with the flow. There really is no end game. Um, because you guys like each other, you like to be in each other's company, but there really hasn't been any like deep talks or um, feeling like you're truly connected with this person. So just have the conversation with him. Have the conversation with her because you just never know. It could all be up here. Yeah. It could all be up there just swirling around in your head. The other person is really having a great time with you and they truly do want to move the relationship forward with you. So Think about all of the things that I talked about before. And of course, think about even more. Evaluate your relationship. It's not just those things that I talked about, but it is a great where uh, it's a great place to start at. Again, next, have the conversation after you do that. Another way to slow down the relationship, especially after you've talked to um, him or her, or maybe you have yet to talk to him or her, but you're still thinking, you know what, I still kind of want to slow it down for my own if you have people in town, whether friends or family, start planning a couple double dates. 
double dates will help you slow down a relationship because you won't be able to solely focus on the person that you're out with. You'll, you know, having great conversation and last with everybody. You're still in their company, right? They're still the person that you're going to talk to the most, but you won't um, feel the pressure when you won't feel the same amount of pressure when you feel when you guys are alone because you won't be up here for the most part because you have to engage with everybody that's there. Another thing that you can do to slow down the relationship is actually to cut your date down in time. Make your date shorter. So instead of thinking that you need to spend five or six hours with the person, spend maybe one or two quote unquote, fit them into your schedule. Even if you don't have to really fit them into your schedule, again, you want to slow the relationship down. And then way to do that is to still see them, but cut back on the time. And especially, this is a side note, it really depends on how long you guys have been talking, hanging out and everything. If you are spending hours and hours and hours or even days with each other, you need to slow that down, especially when it's a, a new relationship, a new talking to person. You need to slow that down because anytime things pick up too fast, they usually fizzle out just as fast. So you want it to be a slow build up because that, that way you are truly getting to know who you're actually dealing with and not just, you know, I'm going with the flow or not just, you know what, you know, getting scared, right? You're not getting scared. You, you are knowing exactly who you're dealing with because enough time has passed. Enough incidents have passed. You guys have um, maybe had your first argument, your second argument, but you can see that, you know what, they're able to uh, argue effectively. They're able to still have my back, not turn their back on me, not fight dirty and all this other stuff. And plug, this is a plug. This I talk about in my book as well. 20 ways to create an awesome love story. Yes. Look out for that. Next week. No, no, in two weeks. In two weeks. Oh, no, no. I'm lying. It is next week. <laughs> next week, I release my book. Okay. Now, let's get back to this. Another way to slow the relationship down, especially if you guys have yet to have sex because you are still trying to feel the person out, but you know that y'all sexual tension is there. Let's just keep it real. Stay out of the house. Yes, keep your date shorter and stay out of the house. For sure. Yeah, I'm letting that sink in. <laughs> stay out of the house as much as possible and absolutely do not stay overnight, especially when your sexual tension is going crazy because you're going to fail. <laughs> there are some people out there who have self-controlling wealth will not fail this but the majority of us will fail this especially when the sexual tension is high and then we're spending the night and those bodies get to rubbing up against each other you get my drift okay so as much as possible especially if you have yet to sleep together because you want to get to know them a bit better stay out of the house keep those dates shorter the last thing that i want to point out is try your very best not to meet anybody that he talks about all the time, meaning the important people in his life, like his family and even his friends, because you're still trying to figure out where you're at with this person. Do you want to continue with this person or do you want to slow it down and potentially let it fizzle out? and go your other way or whatever. So as much as possible, until you know where you at with this person, do not meet anybody that's important to him, that's important to her. Friends, family, definitely not going to work functions, just all that stuff, just keep it cool for now. I'm not saying forever, but until you figure out where you're at, you need to not do any of that stuff. So I hope that these tips have helped you out. Definitely let me know down in the comment section below if they have helped you out. Are you in this situation where you need to slow your relationship down? Are you a person who usually does go full force, but you you really want to slow it down because you want to um, evaluate this person and just do something different so you can get different results? Definitely let me know down in the comment section below. As I already mentioned, if you need help with one-on-one -on -one coaching, I am a 
I am your girl. I can help you out. So definitely in the comment section below, look for my Marshawn at MarshawnOlanio.com email address and send me an email so we can set up a time for a free discovery call to see if we are a good pair to work together with. I will see you guys in the next video.